A community off northern Vancouver Island is at the center of an eerie mystery. People in Alert Bay say they've been hearing strange screams and howls from the forest at night. And the legend of the Sasquatch runs deep in their First Nations culture. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, some are now wondering if those legends are real. It's an eerie recording captured on a cell phone of something that's making strange howling noises heard throughout Alert Bay. We heard it once and I didn't get the recording and then second time I got the recording and that's what was on the back porch. Very eerie. The audio was recorded just recently on the backside of Cormorant Island. It's been heard by many all over the island. This summer I've heard it three times. I've heard it scream three times. But uh, it's been coming here for years. Whatever's been making the noise is heard primarily at night. Some say it's a dog, but others say that's impossible. With that volume, absolutely nothing. No dog can make that kind of a noise yeah. with, that, with that volume. Art Dick hears the vocalizations just outside of his home. He's convinced the calls are from a Sasquatch. He believes the creature is real because of several previous encounters, like several years ago on a remote island further south when a tree was thrown at himself and fellow clam diggers. Pulled the tree right out of the ground. The branches were still on it. I don't know anything that can just literally pull a tree with roots and all. I mean, you know, you see that little alder growing out there. You try to go and pull it out, you're not going to be able to do it. While the howls and screams that have been heard throughout Alert Bay could be dismissed as simply animal noises, you have to keep in mind that Cormorant Highland is a location where there is no wildlife. There's no bears, no cougars, not even any deer. And while you could dismiss the noises, there have been plenty of sightings. One person that's seen it. Her father lives in Alert Bay, and she came up to visit her father. So she went up to the graveyard to um, pay respects to one of her family. And when she went up to the graveyard, she seen it standing there. She turned around and she got out of there right away. She didn't even go to the graveyard. And a more recent sighting when a group of teens were playing soccer near the band's big house. A large upright creature moved quickly alongside the building in just a few strides. Yeah, they took off right away. They don't even stay there anymore after the dark. Tomorrow on CTV News, a visit to the island by renowned Sasquatch investigator John Bindernago, talking with witnesses and looking for clues, and we'll travel along. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Alert Bay.